Welcome to Lobono's YouTube channel. This video will cover 100 civics questions and answers. This video is state specific. For example, questions regarding your state governor, state capital, or U.S. senators will have answers for your state. To save time, short answers are provided instead of every possible answer choice. All answers are updated for 2020. Before we get started, you should be aware that in July of 2019, the Trump administration announced that it is planning changes to the U.S. citizenship test. Acting USCIS Director Ken Cuccellini stated that USCIS plans to launch the changes in December 2020 or early 2021. This is obviously very important, so please subscribe below to stay up to date. Lobono will definitely post video updates if any major changes occur to the citizenship test in 2020. The current exam, which has been in place since 2008, asks applicants 10 randomly generated questions from the list of 100 you are about to study in this video. The questions focus on three subjects, American government, American history, and integrated civics. Applicants for the U.S. citizenship test must get at least six out of the 10 questions correct to pass the civics test. Let's get started. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Freedom of the press. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty seven. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Declared our independence from Great Britain. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. What is the rule of law? No one is above the law. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers.
Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Marco Rubio. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Four hundred thirty five. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? Two. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. Residents of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner. Also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representatives in Congress. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because some states have more people. We elect a president for how many years? Four. In what month do we vote for president? November. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Donald Trump. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Mike Pence. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The 
the president. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Who vetoes bills? The president. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Homeland Security, Attorney General. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To declare war. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. Who is the governor of your state now? Ron DeSantis. What is the capital of your state? Tallahassee. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the political party of the president now? Republican. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Name one right only for United States citizens.
vote in a federal election? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of assembly, freedom of religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The flag. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Obey the laws of the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Run for office. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. When must all men register for the Selective Service? At age 18. What is one reason colonists came to America? Practice their religion. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Taxation without representation. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? 4th, July 4, 1776. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? 1787. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers.
James Madison. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Who was the first president? George Washington. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the Slaves, Emancipation Proclamation. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the Slaves. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement.
What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Name one state that borders Canada. Washington. Name one state that borders Mexico. New Mexico. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day. Christmas. Great job! You have just completed this video. Thank you for watching and studying with Lo Bono. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Future videos for 2020 will include randomly shuffled civics flashcards and also state-specific videos. Please comment below regarding which state videos should be added first. 
Also, as you may be aware, the civics test is only one component to the overall citizenship test, which also tests an applicant's ability to understand, read, and write the English language. If you would like to prepare for the English portion of the test, please check out Lobono's U.S. Naturalization Preparation Online course, link provided below. Thank you.